select an ultimate life table. So we want to look at the difference between select life table and the ultimate life table. So we have the situation. Suppose you are trying to issue life insurance policy. So you are in the perspective of insurance company and two year old women A and B. So you want to make sure that you charge appropriate premiums for these two to cover the cost of insuring them over the time. Let's say A is simply picked from population at large. However, B is picked from a group of women who recently passed a full physical exam. Therefore, she is significantly healthier than the general population. So, is it equitable to charge the same premium to A and B? So, let's look at the notation. The first one, X, X is represent the current age. So, X with the square bracket, the first one, for the selected group. And the second one, X with round bracket, the age of an individual attain the particular age. So, let's say now you are age 21, the age in the round bracket. So, for those already go through medical examination, so they are from the selected group, their notation would be in the square bracket. When an individual applies to purchase life insurance policy, it is often the case that the insurer might require the applicant to have a medical examination. Why? Before we purchase life insurance policy, we have to go through medical examination because the insurance company want to ensure that the policyholder do not have any kind of disease. Then the insurer might only accept for those applicants who meet some specific health criteria. So as a result, the selected group is healthier than those from the general population who didn't go through medical examination. So the probability of death for healthier group or the selected group is less than the probability of death at the same age X from the general population. So QX, the normal one, is the ultimate mortality rate. It is from the general population. So QX is from X to X plus 1. So we are looking for the probability of death. And the QX from the selected group, is from x to x plus 1 as well. But the probability is lesser than from the general population. Let k be the number of years since the selection. We assume that k is an integer, so not fractional age like before. So then QX plus K represents the probability that an individual accepted for life insurance at, at age X, now age X plus K, will die between age X plus K and X plus K plus 1. So for the selected group, we always have to write down the age since the selection age. So we plus... K years for the number of years after the selection age. 
So we know that how many years that group already went through the selection test. So the probability of death from the selected group is less than the probability of death from the general population. However, the impact of selection may diminish as years pass, meaning that the medical examination that the selected group went through only valid for certain years. For example, maybe for five years. After five years, this selected group will become as the general population. So after the five years, for example, we call it as ultimate period. So the select period is the smallest end for which the select mortality rates are equal to the ultimate mortality rate. To represent a select and ultimate life table, we use two-dimensional array includes the row for the age and the column for the duration since the selection. So let's look at the situation that we have in previous slide. So for the case, this two 50-year-old women, the probability of death for A is Q50 with the round bracket. And for B, the probability of death is Q50 with the square bracket because she is from the selection group. The premium for B is less than the premium for A because the probability of death is lesser than the probability of death for A. So the insurance company will charge more premium for higher risk individual. Let's move to this example. For example, if a table had a three-year select period on insured status, at each entry is 20. So we start with 20. So we have only three years select period. So after three years, this individual become normal population. So this period we call it as ultimate period. So this tree is selection period. Let's look at this figure. So we have typo here. In the square bracket, it remains 25. So the probability of death at the selection age is less from the probability of death at after first year and so forth. Let's try the example three. Given an ultimate table using a two year select period. So the first two year is the select period and after that is yes, 
ultimate period. So this is the age. And this is for the age after two years. So normally for the TPX, when we convert into life table and we use LX, it become LX plus T over LX. And for the normal population, we just straightforward Use let's say 50 to 1, L51 over L50. But for the select group, so we have to write down the select H and then plus 1 over L30. So we refer to the table. L30 plus 1. So you have to look at here because 30 in the bracket plus 1. So LX plus 1 is here over LX. So 998 over 1000. Let's try the second one. 2P30. So, first you write down L30 in the bracket plus 2 over L30. After the 2 year selection period, it becomes normal 1. So, we change here as normal population so when we refer to the table it's here 995 okay for third example so from 30 plus 1 to 30 plus 1 plus 1. So it become 30 plus 2. So it equal to L30 plus 2 over L30 plus 1. And when we check the life table, L30 plus 2 become normal population. So we change it into L32 over L30 plus 1. So it is 995 over 998 D so it is equal to L32 plus 1 over L32 so in this row, L32 plus 1 is 990 over L32 is 994. Let's try next one. So this is the conditional probability. So if you draw the timeline, it would start from age 31. 
So we are interested on the probability from here until here with the condition here this individual is survive. So when we use the Lx, it become equal to L31 plus 1 minus L31 plus 3 over L31. Okay, let's check the table. So L31. So we look at this row, L31. So L31 plus 1 still in the select time. However, L31 plus 3 is not in the select period anymore. So here it becomes L31 plus 1 minus L34. It becomes normal and L31. L34 is, you look at here, L34, the normal one is... 982 so 994 minus 982 over then F Q30 Plus 1 until 2. 2. So here it becomes normal because it more than 2 year selection period. So QS is equal to 1 minus L33 over L30 plus 1. L33, the normal one. Nine eight eight, And L30 plus 1 is... 998 988 over 998 so G when we draw the timeline start from 30 plus 1 until 30 plus 3, so more than selection period. So it becomes 34. 30 plus 1 plus 3 until 35. So the probability that we are interested on is only here. From 34 to 35 with the condition that here the individual is still survive. L34 minus L35 over, then we come to the current age, L30 plus 1. So when we refer to the table, L34 and L35, the normal one is here. 982 minus 970 
and L30 plus 1 is 998. Then we substitute here. 